from the station working for you. This is breaking news from WRTV. And we begin with that breaking news this midday. It's likely the biggest COVID vaccine mandate in the state of Indiana so far. Today, Indiana University announced that it would require all of its students and staff to be vaccinated against the coronavirus before they're allowed back on campus for fall semester. The new policy applies to all IU campuses, including the main campus in Bloomington, IUPUI right here in Indianapolis, as well as IU's five regional campuses across our state. It also appears to be a strict policy allowing for very few exceptions among the tens of thousands of students the IU serves as well as more than 40,000 employees in the IU system. So here is how it will work. IU says all students and staff should have their first dose of a COVID vaccine by July 1st. They'll need to be fully vaccinated, meaning all doses of a vaccine plus two weeks past their last dose, no later than August 15th or when they return to campus, whichever is earlier. Students and staff will have to comply with vaccine requirements in order to interact with the IU community in any way. IU says students who choose not to get the vaccine could have their class registration canceled and faculty and staff could lose their jobs with the university if they're not vaccinated. IU says exceptions will be extremely limited to those with medical conditions and what they call documented and significant religious exemptions. We have more on this breaking news right now. It's on our website, WRTV.com. And IU is the first public university in the state to require COVID vaccines. Several private schools had already announced they would be making the same requirement. That includes DePaul University in Greencastle and the University of Notre Dame. Valparaiso is also requiring the vaccine, as are two other schools in South Bend, Holy Cross and St. Mary.